In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can transfer videos and photos from your Windows-based PC to your iPhone or iPad without using a cable. That means we're gonna use Wi-Fi, and we're also gonna use a free app called VLC Player that looks like this, and you can find it in the Apple Store. Once you've installed VLC Player, here's the important part. You have to make sure that both your iPhone or your iPad is on the same Wi-Fi connection as your PC computer. This is important that they share the same network. Once you're on the same network, tap and open the VLC Player and head up to the top left-hand corner, you're gonna see a little cone icon. Tap on the cone icon and look down towards the bottom where you see share over Wi-Fi. Tap on share over Wi-Fi and you're gonna get the option to toggle on a little switch there. Once you toggle it on, it's gonna present a number. Take note of that number because we're gonna need it for the next step. Now that I've hit the toggle, the number that I'm seeing is 192.168.1.9. What you wanna now do is open up the browser on your desktop computer. I'm gonna use Chrome for this and I'm also using Windows 7, but this should work regardless of whatever operating system or browser that you're on. Once you open the desktop browser, go to the top just like you were gonna type in a website, but type this number in instead and then hit return. That's gonna open up the VLC browser. But this is the important part. You have to make sure that your phone is on and VLC player is open because if this closes, once you start to transfer files, if it's not open, you might get an error. So make sure that this stays open while you're trying to do everything on your desktop. Once the VLC browser is open, it's gonna give you the option to either drag and drop files onto the browser itself from a folder on your desktop or you can go up to the top right hand corner and click on the plus icon and that's gonna open up the box that allows you to go search for the files that you wanna pull into the VLC browser. The moment they go inside of the VLC browser, it's gonna start transferring those files to your device. And this is the part where you have to make sure that your device is still open. If it's closed, you might see an error here. If you get an error at this point, you need to make sure that the VLC player is open and your phone didn't go to sleep or turn off while you're working on the computer. The VLC browser will also tell you when the files have finished transferring, and then you can look on your device and you can see that they're finishing up there, and then the files are transferred. If you wanna get more iPhone or iPad tips like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And by the way, check out one of these videos right here. These are iOS specific and they're also really handy. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.